Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about Starstone Mines. So Starstone's Mines is quite a simple map. It's very small, it's just one path and you just get to the boss. So over here there are just a bunch of enemies that you can just kill, just DPS check. Over here is the first mini boss. The first mini boss has no mechanics, again it's just a DPS check, just make sure you kill the three wolves fast and easy. And then you come over here and then you come to the last boss. So you can see over here that this wolf is Frosca. And then there, there are these uh, mini wolves, these fire wolves, and there are two roles for this boss. Role number one are the people that attack the, the fire wolves, and role number two are the people that tank or melee Frosca. So Frosca, when he's at 90% HP, he'll release one of these wolves. One of these wolves will run around and attack you, and then it's up to roll one to quickly go up and kill these wolves. The moment you kill these wolves, whoever has, whoever gets the last hit will get a fire buff. And this fire buff is very important because uh, when Frosca, he will cast a ice spell, an ice debuff, to the two closest targets. So when the two closest targets get this debuff, they will, they will get frozen and they won't be able to attack or do anything. So it's up to the people who got the fire buff, so whoever last hit the wolf, needs to run up to the people that are frozen to take away their their freeze debuff. However, it also transfers the fire buff to that person. So that person will now have a fire buff and he needs to de uh, he needs to unfreeze the second player. And that after the second player gets unfrozen, then you can just continue to DPS again. However, this buff uh, this boss does have a DPS check because he only releases the wolves at 90% and then at 50% and then at 30%. And then if you can't do enough damage before he does his ice rotation, where he does his ice spell, then you will wipe because you won't be able to get the fire debuff and to to save the two players. Because if you don't save the two, the two players, the Frosca, he will absorb uh, he'll absorb their HP or something, and basically he'll heal a lot of HP and do an AoE ice attack, which will wipe your party. And that's really the mechanics. So let's take a look at the clip, and I'll show you at 90% what happens. So you can see at 95%, he'll uh, start rousing the gray wolves from their slum slumber. So one of the wolves will start awakening. He, he won't awake multiple wolves, he'll only awake one. So you can see over here that there is one of the of the fire wolves. So it's up to us to quickly go kill that fire wolf. So you see the moment we kill the fire wolf, there's this fire buff that flies over. So you can see here that once you have the fire buff, you, you will have this fire thing on top of your head and you will start glowing red with fire. So when you have this buff, you want to stay away from the party because it does a DOT attack and it burns players that are close by. So you want to stay away from your party. So you can see that she's standing over there, while the rest of us are standing over here. And there's a little distance, you know. You want to stay as far as possible, because you don't want to stand too close to your teammates. So once the boss hits uh, almost 90, at 92%, or it's usually it's 90%, uh, he will start searching for his prey. The moment this this sign comes up, it means that he's going to target the two closest players and freeze them. You can see that he shoots two ice cubes, so one is going to the assassin and the other one's going to the kung fu master. So you can see that once they're frozen, the kung fu master there has the ice debuff and same as the assassin, they will be linked together by this ice beam. So you want, to, you want the two players to stand away from each other to break off this ice beam. If you don't break it off, the guy with the fire buff will will not be able to save you and take away that debuff. So you see, they stand far away from each other. The moment that thing breaks, they will get frozen and they won't be able to do anything. So over here, you can see that our gunner with the fire buff ran into the assassin to take away his uh, frozen debuff. And now it transfers over to the assassin. Now the assassin has the fire buff. So now the assassin has the fire buff. He needs to run to the Kung Fu Master to take away his frozen buff. However, the Frosca will continuously spam this ice ring attack, so you need to jump over this or else it will, it, will, it will weaken this buff. So you see over here that the Assassin transferred the buff over to the Kung Fu Master now. So now the Kung Fu Master has the fire buff. This fire buff will expire before the next wave, or before the next rotation. 
So on this boss, he'll just keep continuously jump, and you just want to dodge the ice ring that he keeps casting. If you don't dodge the ice ring, you'll get frozen, and then it will freeze you for about 10 seconds or something. So the next uh, next check mark is at 75%. 75% again, he will rouse the gray wolves from their slumber. So you can see here that the red wolf there is running. So again, people that are roll one want to quickly kill the wolf. So once you've killed the wolf, this is a bug. The Kung Fu Master, this buff should have expired, but there's a visual bug on the server at the moment. So it looks like he still has it, but it doesn't actually do anything. And you can see over here that on our second gunner that he has the fire buff now because he got the last hit. So here at 71%, uh, Frostka is searching for his prey again. So he's going to freeze the two closest targets, which again is the Kung Fu Master and the, and the Assassin. Again, he'll shoot this ice ball and then it'll freeze both characters. And you see over here, you can see again that once the ice cube lands on them, this ice beam will connect them, the two targets together, and they need to move away from each other. You can see here that we had some trouble moving away from each other, so it's not breaking. There we go, it broke. So you can see there that the ice ring, the moment it hits you, it'll freeze you, and you'll be frozen for a couple seconds. As a gunner, you can iframe the freeze, because the moment the freeze hits you, you have about a 0.5 seconds to SS out or to use an iframe so that you don't uh, totally freeze solid. So at 50%, again, uh, he will, he'll wake up the gray wolf or the red wolves on their slumber. And then this, it gets a little bit faster because we, we're, we're lacking on DPS in this run. So you can see that we haven't even killed the red wolf yet, but he's already looking for his prey. So again, he'll target the two closest players. So you can see that he froze me because I was close. And he also froze our warlock over there. You want to make sure the person who gets the fire buff doesn't stand the closest. That's why our assassin quickly SS out. Because if he gets the fire buff and he gets frozen, it basically cancels out the fire buff. And then you will wipe. So you can see there that the moment we had uh, we were frozen, there was a beam, and then I SS'd out to get to break that beam. But the moment the beam breaks, you freeze. So you can see here that the assassin is now running towards me because he has the fire buff. And there we go. The moment he runs into me, uh, the fire buff will transfer to me, and I'll be unfrozen. So once I ran into the warlock to unfreeze him, now he has the fire buff. You can see there that the moment I got hit by the ring, I didn't SS or I didn't iframe, so I was getting frozen. If if you still have the fire buff, uh, that person can save you by running into you and it will transfer the fire buff to you. So you can see now that I have the fire buff. And after a duration, the fire buff will disappear and will go to him. And basically, when that fire buff goes to the boss, it doesn't let the boss heal himself. If you don't have the fire buff, it will, uh, he will heal himself. So once you get the boss to 30%, again, he'll wake up the gray wolves. So normally you want to lure the wolf away from the middle because you don't want the tanks to get the red buff. If they get the fire buff, then they have to run away from the boss, which is very difficult since they have aggro. So you want to lure this the red wolf away from the middle. So you can see that the red buff went to the gunner. However, the gunner was also too close. He was uh, I should have went closer, but I didn't. And the ice buff is going to hit him. So you can see that the ice buff hit uh, the assassin and hit the gunner. But the gunner had the fire buff. So we wipe here because now we don't have a fire buff. And we can't take away the ice. And there's no fire buff to stop him from healing. And you can see that our party wiped because of that. So anyway, I hope that this guide helps a little bit. And uh, when I do get footage of the full clear, I will uh, remake it and I'll post it. And I'll let you guys see the, I guess, like the full complete gameplay of this. But until then, 
right now I'm still quite undergeared, and our guild is not, uh, we're not geared enough to do this dungeon, but you know, giving you guys a first look, and then maybe give us a month, or give us a few weeks, and then hopefully we'll be geared enough to do it. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time, Bye bye What can I say except you're welcome, for the heals, the boosts, so